Hey everyone, today I'm working on a 09 BMW 335. The batteries went dead on this. And I was just gonna go over a few things with you. Uh, don't worry if you get locked out of the trunk because you can uh, add power to the front pretty easily. You just pop up the, the hood, use your key to get into it. And then you come up front and you'll see this little cover right here that is the power point. So you'll just take that off Add your positive cable to that and then ground it right here on your little ground nut lug and that will give you power to where you can unlock the trunk. Now whenever you go to look for the battery, the battery is in the trunk on the right side so you'll take this cover and you'll pull it out and you'll see the battery underneath here. And you'll also be taking this bracket off with two 10 millimeter bolts and uh, there's a hole down on the side down there. So whenever you take that bracket off and you'll take a little screwdriver to pop this little cover off. There's one little clip on this side and there's one on this side. So you just stick it down in there, kind of pry it back and that cover uh, will come off right there. And hopefully um, most cars that will give you enough room to get that battery out. And I'll show you here in just a second. Now they'll hold down on the back side. Some of them have extensions, but some of them don't. Like this one didn't have an extension. So I know it's hard to kind of see, but I got a, a long quarter inch extension with a ratchet on the top and I'm able to reach it with a 10 millimeter down at the bottom and do the little bracket down there that holds the battery in. So right there's a bracket that I pulled out from the side of the battery that's down uh, to the rear with a little short bolt on there and that is a 10 millimeter. Now the next thing you want to do is take the negative terminal off back here to 10 millimeter on the, the top and after you take the 10 millimeter uh, loose there then you'll take the positive off up here you'll just flip this little cover up right here and take that term, terminal loose. Now once you get that positive loose you can bring it up and then you can take the little connector off right there. I usually just use a little prying tool like that. Pop it out side that way you don't have to let any other the electrical connections go. But you'll move your cable, your positive cable around to the side and then you'll want to disconnect the vent line that's uh, for the battery that's going to the outside to vent the gases away. You'll need to pull that off and then you'll pull this line back here and then you'll finagle the, uh, the battery out of its spot. So now you can see I got the battery out. Now basically whenever I lifted it up, I kind of pulled on the left side and got the left side coming up a little bit and then slid it up out of there and then got it on the setting on the ground. And then I'm going to get the replacement battery. Now this here is a replacement battery and I went ahead and took the, uh, the little um, um, vent hose connections out. So what you'll do is on the same side that you had your hose you'll put the new one in, in the hole for the vent and go ahead and snap that in on that side and then you'll take the plug that they provide and stick it on the other side on the side that's not being used so this one right here you can see that the battery is a little bit smaller overall as far as the body size but if you look at the cold cranking amps cold cranking amps is actually more on this one and then whenever you go to uh program your computer if it's not the same amp hours you can see right here like this one's a 90 and this one right here is a 72 so i'll go into the computer using my snap-on and change the settings to a, uh, a 70 uh, amp hour but before i do that i'll go ahead and set this battery back in and show you uh, how, how easy it is to replace the battery and before I forget, uh, whenever you put in the new battery, you want to go ahead and take the uh, caps off and go ahead and clean the battery terminals just to make sure that it gives it a nice clean surface. And go ahead and clean up the terminal ends on here underneath just to make sure there's no corrosion or anything on them. Now in case you're wondering, this battery size is a little bit shorter, but if you look down there in the tray, there's different holes that allow you to go ahead and put the bracket on for the shorter battery. Now when you're putting this battery back in, just make sure that you remember to put the uh, your line back over there and get your vent back on it on the side over there and also get your terminals tight. I usually put the positive on first, get it tightened down and close the cover and then get the negative on there and close the cover if it has a cover. but. Uh, go ahead and tighten it down but as you can see this is the replacement battery right there and if you look down in there you can see that the whole down mount 
uh, went in the third hole coming up so it should work properly and the next step that I'm going to do is go ahead and program the battery um, to make sure that everything's good with it so now I'll go into my scanner now this is a snap on Solus and I will go to the settings this is a 09 model I usually do automatic ID it's just easier Okay, now you want to go into the engine settings. You will then go into the functional test and then go to special functions. And then right here where it says change battery type or battery replacement, you can go to change battery type Tell it to continue, tell it OK. Uh, the battery type right now is listed as a 90, but I just installed a 72, so I'll go ahead and click 70. Tell it OK. Now right here you can see where it says 70 at, and tell it OK. Okay, it told it to initiate, so you can sit right here and see where it says do not disturb the vehicle. Now you can see right here where it says battery coating is complete. Cycle ignition key off for 15 seconds, then back on. Check the system, make sure everything is working properly. Now I'll go into the battery replacement and register new battery. Now this is where it says that if you have a different size than previous and it has to be written into it, which is where I changed the, uh, the battery type at. So now I'll just be registering the new battery, telling to continue. So then you see right here where it says battery replacement is programmed in the next step. Entry cannot be canceled after starting, so once you start it, can't can't be stopped. Now you can see right here, reset completed, and you exit out. And there you go, you're pretty much... Uh, just registered your new battery using a snap-on Solus. Now I'm sure that there's other scanners that you can use to do it, um, but it really uh, avoids paying the $500 price that you'll get at the dealership. Okay, I just started it up and verified that everything's working good on it. Looks like it took the battery replacement. But that's basically how you change the battery on the E90 BMW 335D. Hopefully my video helped you out today. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks again.